I think we have many times discussed this term in almost all the videos that I have created, but never we actually identified what kind of assets could be there. Okay. There was no definite checklist that we ever produced on this channel. So that's why I just wanted to let you know how to create asset checklist for your organization, guys. This video is very important. Try to understand what is an asset, what kind of assets can you include in your asset register. Okay. So first of all, let us try to understand, guys, all of you who are watching for the first time, what is an asset? An asset is something that needs to be protected. It is of value to the organization. The organization has its value inside that asset. It is important for the organization. So three different categories mainly are categorized whenever we talk about asset. And these are very familiar terms. You must be familiar. All of those who already have experience in the IT industry, it's PPT, people, process, and technology. These three are the main segregations under which all the assets are registered. So here also you see in the checklist that I have provided, there are people, there are software, there is technology related things. Okay. People, process, and technology guys. These are the three fundamental categories for defining assets. But under that, you can have different categories altogether. Okay. You can have, for example, under technology, you can have computer equipment, electronic equipment. Okay. Under te technology, you can have applications, systems, databases, physical equipment. Everything can be there under technology. And similarly, uh, databases also, everything. So similarly, for people, you can have special, you know, roles and responsibilities where if let's say the person falls sick or not available or resigns uh you know just all of a sudden then could impact the entire business to be functional okay so these are critical people for your organization after that you have processes you have documents you have contracts you have agreements you have policies you have different types of procedures which are there if i talk about process okay Apart from that, location is also an asset. Your building is an asset. If the building won't be there, then it would not be able, you, your business would not be able to function. Similarly, reputation, brand image is an asset. Every organization, you know, has its brand image nowadays. Okay. So overall, three categories I have given you, PPT, people, process, and technology. And two more categories today I will give you, which are, Tangible assets and intangible assets, guys. Tangible assets are some assets that you can touch and feel. And intangible assets are those where you have, you know, you cannot touch them physically. For example, reputation, brand image. These are intangible assets. Okay. So I hope you must have got some clarity around now what are different types of assets and how to create a asset register. Many people have asked me about different uh, assets and how to accumulate them into one single asset register. So I think now you will have a better understanding. Still, if you have any further questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.